you 10,000 subscribers. Hey movers, it's Tracy at Move Daily Fitness and if you're just joining today, well we've reached a milestone here on this channel on Move Daily and uh, we've hit 10,000 subscribers so I am thrilled about that. Hey, I just want to say a thank you, a special, special thank you to all of those who have been a part of this channel this last year. I started this channel back in 2013 if you can believe it. Some of you have seen some of my older videos, it's kind of funny. But uh, I let it die for a few years in between and it was only last year that I decided, you know what, I want to reach a goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. Well, I was a few weeks over that, but still reached that goal nonetheless. And if you have a goal right now that you're working on and that's why you visited this channel, that's why you're doing this workout today, hey, I just want to remind you, it takes time. But if you can dedicate concerted effort to that, lots of commitment over time, you're gonna reach your goals too. Okay, but it's hard work. This is not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. There were many days actually, even on this channel, I'm like, I don't wanna do another workout. I don't wanna film another thing. Is anyone gonna watch it? Are there gonna be any subscribers today? Am I gonna lose subscribers today? That's happened too. I look at those analytics sometimes and I get fully like down and deflated because they're not how I want them to be. But if I look at the whole year, the growth over the year, I think I started at about 1,400 subscribers and today we're at 10,000. So time, commitment, consistency helps you reach your goals and it's gonna help you reach your goals in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition as well. So keep that in your mind as we do today's workout. Speaking of which, today's workout is a no repeat total upper body workout, okay? Here's your format. We're gonna do one minute worth of work with 15 seconds to transition, okay? Since we're only doing each exercise once, I'm gonna give you a full 60 seconds to complete the exercise. Make sure that you lift as heavy as you can in that exercise so that you can actually burn out that muscle. Now, we're gonna be hitting chest, back, triceps, shoulders, biceps, and some abs, all right? So, grab a variety of dumbbells. That's what you'll need in today's workout. Make sure you have a towel, BCAA is your water, and we're getting started all 10,000 of you coming up right now. I mean, just kidding. I have to actually mention that we're having a giveaway in today's workout, okay? Now, I've done subscriber giveaways before and I've mentioned a secret word somewhere in the workout. So, you have to do this whole workout with me. It's hidden somewhere in the workout. I need you to write your response in the comments below, okay? Then, I'm gonna do a draw and one of you will win our prize package. So, be sure to follow along find that code word and let me know in the comments below what the, what the code is, okay? All right, now, let's do it. All right, let's start with a little warm up, okay? Let's do feet shoulder width apart right here. Hey, if you've done your warm up, you want to jump to the number at the bottom of the screen, feel free to go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna get things warmed because I haven't done anything this morning yet. So, I've uh, been editing some videos on the computer, drinking coffee, and now it's time to do a little workout here. All right, take a wide. Good, open it right there, stretch that chest. That's it. It's very foggy here this morning. Um, I was actually thinking of taking my camera out and trying to capture some photos. Still learning how to use this camera. But um, if you follow me over on Instagram, you've seen some of my photos that I've taken lately. All right, let's take it into some arm circles right here. Reach back. That's it. Knees are soft. Big circles. And switch directions. There you go. Whew. Oh, it just burns so fast when you start off, right off the hop, doesn't it? Three, two, one, good. I want you down on the ground. Let's do some rotations here. Just reach up, stretch through your chest. And up, there we go. Good, five more here. This can be done from the knees too. If you can't support your body weight, that's fine. Reach. Last two. Oh, good. Okay, back up. Little squat over here again. Here we go. Ooh. 
four more. I see some little old ladies walking, like they just parked right in front of my house. <laughs> and they're walking, they've got little books in their hands, I think. They might be Jehovah's Witness. They might be ringing my doorbell shortly. Oh, they may bypass, I don't know. I don't know if our house has been flagged yet. <sighs> oh, they're cute though. I'll give them that. Oh, keep going. Three, two, last one here. Good, let's go back to those arm circles. Single side this time, okay? I just want you to get some good rotation on that circle. I mean arm. You know what I meant. Switch directions, up. All right, switch sides, up and over. I'm going axe throwing tonight. Have you guys done that? Um, switch directions. My husband's uh, Christmas party is actually in January, but we're going to the keg to eat, a restaurant in town here. And then uh, axe throwing. Okay, right here. So, I'll be designated driver, because it's my husband's party, so you can have fun. But, here's the theory. Go to the restaurant, have whatever you want to eat and drink, and then go throw axes. <laughs> Is that like a completely wise idea? I suppose we'll see. We have to all wear flannel, like lumberjacks, I guess, so. <laughs> I don't even actually own a flannel top. I have to wear one of Quentin's. Which would be funny. Last two here. Reach. One more. And up. All right, one more round. Let's go right here, stretch. Two. Yeah, no, anyway, it should be fun. I'll be interested to see if I'm any good at that. I'm actually pretty good at archery and riflery. <laughs> we took that, like, uh, I actually would teach those two elements at a summer camp for years when I was a young adult. So, it's funny, like, in Canada here, they would never have riflery anymore, but that used to be a thing years ago. And, uh, Shoot little 22s and then teach bow and arrow. It was fun. I like that. Last one here. All right, circles again, both together. Whew, it's getting the heart rate up a little. Things are warming up. All right, switch directions up. Oh, yeah. Three, two. All right, let's get back down on the ground. Last plank rotation here. Reach and stretch. Let's finish with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one here. All right, great. Grab your heavier dumbbells to start. You're going to start on your back, single side down, chest press. All right, I'm gonna grab my 20s to start. You're gonna do chest press, single side down, so they're both up, okay? One down at a time. On your back, bench or ball, doesn't matter. In three, two, here we go. Low, and stay over the chest. Press, squeeze at the top. Great. while I was changing the camera there, getting ready. There's two little ladies and two little old men. So I, I can't imagine that they are anything else. I'm pretty sure they're not, oh, they might be like signing up for, you know, cancer donations or something like that. I have seen them before though. I don't know, maybe they're canvassing the area. <laughs> Collecting bottles? No, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, oh. Good job. You're moving on to a renegade row. We're just gonna flip right over. Work a little back here next, okay? Actually, we're gonna stay down here for a few exercises, so just be mindful of that. Coming up. All right, nice. Okay, flip it over into plank. So you can put your hands on the floor and row, alternating, okay? Or on the dumbbells. I'm gonna do 20s, I guess so, here we go. And up. That was aggressive right off the hop. Oh well, here I am. Okay, hips are facing the ground. Nice and controlled. Yeah. 
you don't have hex dumbbells, you might want to put your hands on the ground so they don't roll, okay? This could also be done from the knees like this to modify. Good, you got 10 more seconds here. Woo, it's a good start. All right, slide those aside. Grab a lighter weight. You're gonna do, I'm gonna grab an eight. You're gonna do that. Reverse fly, tries to kick back. So you're here, bend, kick. Same side for 30 seconds. Let's go up and kick. Round up, bend, kick back. Woo! It's work, isn't it? I should have given us a break off of our arms, but nope. Last one here. All right, switch sides. That's better. Up. Round, kick back. You're standing after this, hitting a little bicep. Last one here, up and kick. Nice. Woo, okay, hammer curls. I'm gonna grab my 15s for that. Knees soft, shoulders back, palms face the leg. Here we go, and up. Turn at the top. Yeah, let's get my heart rates up already. It's only been four minutes. to let those shoulders fall forward on this guy. That's it. Move into a tricep kick out next. Okay, I'm gonna go a little lighter. Wait. Last one here, nice. All right, I'm gonna grab my eights for this kick out. Again, high rep range with, a, with the one minute, right? So don't go too heavy. Elbows are out, we're kicking to the side. Here we go, and kick. Don't shrug the shoulders and don't round them, okay? Now if you find this position difficult, Feel free to do that tricep kick back right here instead, okay, like that. It's a bit of a different angle on this. We'll be down for a little ab exercise next. Okay, no weights required. Woo, burn on those tries. Minutes long, isn't it? 10 seconds, come on. But again, you're never doing this exercise again today, so give me all you got. In three, two, last one right there. Good. Abs and elbows, back on your back. Let's have a 90 degree leg, hands are down on the ground. You're gonna come up to your elbows, all the way back down. Ready? Here we go, and up. Focus on bringing that chest to the ceiling there. A little 
Pause the top. That's it. Whew, arms are feeling shaky already. That renegade row kind of like woke everything up. We're going to do some push-ups. Next, for chest, okay? We're going to do a little variable surface push-up, okay? So grab one weight. Whew, five seconds, come on. Last one here. Oh, good. Okay, so you're just going to put your hand on the weight to uh, make a surface difference. You don't have to do that. You can do this from the knees or just regular push-ups is fine too. Ready? Here we go. Sorry, I'll call halfway to switch your surface. Woo, I'm tired. One more at the side. All right, switch. You're using the surface. Here we go. shoulder press. Um, <clears throat> high rep range, so I'll keep it a little bit lighter. Ready? Here we go. Press up. Bring it in front. Good. Nice tight tummy. Don't want to push my hips forward. Okay, you don't want to use your back here. Pinwheel curls come up next. I'm gonna grab those 15s again for biceps. Whew, halfway. Boom, let's go. Whew. Some work, isn't it? That higher rep range. I like it though. Four, three, Two, last one right here. Boom. All right, pinwheels. Pinwheel curl comes in front, palm faces the ceiling, okay? Flex the bicep at the top. Ready? Let's do it. Up and try not to swing it at the bottom, place it down. Good. Mm 
Remember to challenge yourself. Like if you're lifting only fives here and you could have kept going for another minute, too light. Time to invest in some heavier weights. That's how you're gonna see the change and shift and grow. And I've heard from lots of you that you've been lifting kind of heavier than you've ever done before, right? And you've seen changes. So that's, that's what I like to hear. Still within your abilities, okay? But you probably can do more than you think you can is the point with that. Whew, this is getting heavy. 10 seconds. Line overhead, skull crusher is next. I'm gonna stick with my 15s here. Okay, take it down. Here in my eye. So overhead, line, triceps. Get ready. Three, two, and here we go. Slow and press. Your back is arching. You lift one leg up right like this. Slow and up. Okay, we're gonna do one more ab, then I'll give you a little break for water. facing, turn, palms back. All right, let's do it. So palms facing, stay hinged, wide and narrow. Good. Up. Try 
contract your shoulder blades both times here. Pull back and up. I'm gonna do a full um, crush complex kneeling next. So you're gonna get down on the ground, I'm gonna grab my eights for a bicep curl shoulder press overhead tricep extension. I just hit my boob. Ow! <laughs> What's looking up? Yeah. Whew, does this work? You're almost there though. Last five seconds. One more, right? Boom! Oh, yeah. Okay, kneeling. Crush complex. Bicep, shoulder, tricep. Ready, here we go. Curl, press, overhead. You're focusing on keeping elbows by your ears on your tricep part. Be distinct about the three actions here, okay? Pull, press, and overhead. Halfway. Good. A little bit more difficult from kneeling. Powell raises next. That's the exercise. Yeah. Again, a couple of videos ago, I'm like, I don't remember what this is called. And I couldn't think of it like for the life of me. I had to email my friend and ask him. Anyway, I'll show you in a second. You're gonna grab your lightest weight. Last one here. Boom, okay, I'm gonna grab my five. You could possibly do this with an eight, but your side line plank, palm is facing away, pinky's high, you're here to there, okay? Don't touch the ground. Modify this from the knees, or one foot in front, or stacked, okay? Oh, slow. I like this one. Really feel it in those obliques as well, don't you? Last one here. Lift up and switch sides. Moving quickly and go. Kneeling lateral raises are next. Touch the ground, come on. Hover, hover, hover. Ugh. Yeah. Last one here. All right, good. I'm gonna grab my eights for that kneeling lateral. Cause I can do eight standing, but for a minute, seems crazy. I guess we'll see. Take your time. Ready. Let's go. Pop. Slow. Your chest out. <clears throat> Moving back to abs after this. I'm gonna work an exercise called the shuttle. Okay. Halfway. Really, it's it. Oh. Drain the neck. Five seconds. Last one, and boom. Good. All right, a shovel, you're up on your elbows. You're sweeping the sand, bringing it back. Okay, so you're reaching out, bringing it back. Single leg is your modification. Go. Scoop the sand, bring it back. Low to the ground, pop. You're staying 
down here for the next one too. It's gonna be like a boat rocker shoulder press. So a little shoulder, a little more ab. Let me grab my H for that one. Down here for your dumbbell pullover next. Try and work a little bit of lats. Whew, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Do whatever way is good for you. I have dislocated this shoulder before, so I don't like to go too heavy on this one. Gotta protect your shoulder. You're gonna be in that glute bridge position, hips up, totally straight arms, back, back, and pull. Let's go. One, two, and yeah, straight arms. Did I say that? Yes, I did. <laughs> say it again, Trace. Can you just have totally straight arms, please? Perfect. Long, long, think of lats at the bottom. Mind in that muscle and pull. A little bit of chest, a little bit of try on this one as well, but boom, think about the lats. Glutes are getting it too, aren't they? Pull. Try not to hit the ground behind you, just hovering above it. So I'm gonna stick with my eights there. Woo. Palms up, we're coming together and wide. Here we go, knees are soft, up, stick your chest out. Why did I pick eights and not fives? That was weird. Boom. Okay, if it gets too heavy with the weight you have, you're just here, you're single side, okay? Okay. 
a little water break as soon as this one's done. Give it over half, come on. Up. Yeah. Just don't throw your hips forward on this one.
just gonna take a break for a second. And up. Little half bicep curls is next. Eight seconds. Last one and press. Ugh. Okay. I think I'll use my big jeans, even though it'll be challenging. Palms are gonna be at 90 degrees, single side down. Okay. <laughs> Ready? And down. So you're stationary, hold on one side while the other guy's working. Oh, this was too heavy. <laughs> Should have chosen lighter. Regret. <laughs> We've got weight regret. Uh, well, I'm just gonna try. Try not to swing at the bottom. I would just like, nice little swing at the bottom to help myself up. Okay, that's halfway. Break for two seconds. And start. Holy, let's work on those biceps, eh? Let's go for abs next so I can give my arms a break. 10 seconds, but don't stop now because what's 10 seconds in life, right? Anyone can do anything for three, two, one. Yeah, yoga. Stretch those abs, arms back, thumbs down. All right, let's go in to a little side crunch. So you're gonna come up, turn, Oblique crunch on the one side. Here we go. Now, feel free just to crunch this instead of doing the full sit up. And if you want, grab a weight. And turn. My feet and knees are bent here. Up. Stomach is sloshing. All my water. <laughs> I sure find myself funny sometimes, don't I? <laughs> like, you guys are probably like, oh, why should we laugh at yourself? Well, let's laugh or cry, girls. Oh, and guys, turn. 20 seconds. Are you ready for the code word? I think you might be. <laughs> You've been waiting this long. They're like, she forgot. Truth be told, I actually did until the second here. In <laughs> three. Two and one. Okay, back up for shoulders again. Grab your light ones. Whew. Little shoulder roll. Okay, we're gonna do front lateral combo. Ready? And go. Okay, so here's the code word. What I want you to do is write in one sentence in the comments below your number one thing that you want to see happen with your either fitness, wellness, or nutrition this 2019, okay? So you don't have to tell me your whole, every goal you have in the world, that's fine. I just want to hear one thing. If it's like, you know what, my goal this year is to just be consistent in drinking water. If I did that, my life would be on a better path. Um, maybe your goal is to be consistent in your workouts, like to 90 to 100% accuracy and saying, I could do it three days a week for sure. Then commit to that. Then say, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so if you wanna be eligible for our prize, make sure that you comment below after this video and let me know your one goal, either in your fitness, wellness, or nutrition for 2019. All right, let's go back to chest. On your back again. Okay, tricep. Just your tricep chest press. So palms facing. You're gonna do a pulse at the bottom, full range at the top. Here we go. Little one, up. Got my 15s here, up. Good. You know, some one of my clients said, 
she wants to read more books that are gonna help just heal her, heal her soul. And um, so we talked about a few, I have my whole book list at the bottom that I, like my go-to favorites, a lot of them that have changed my life. So make sure you check that out too, but uh, she picked a couple of books from that list and um, said, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read more this year. I'm gonna spend more time just investing in myself and uh, I'm just gonna read. Another gal said she wanted to start journaling again, so that was great. Whew, burn, Ola. Good, tricep dips. So it can be, it can be anything. Just let me know them in the comments. Shake that out. And then I encourage you to read other people's too because that's inspiring. Here we go. It's gonna be hard after that. Why did I pick this one? But again, just like me building this YouTube channel, like there's no question that it's work. And sometimes, you know, like when you want to make a change and you want to grow or change and shift, it can be really depressing, can't it? Like if you don't see the change that you're looking for. But again, I'll keep going. I took the year to look back and wow, how could I say I haven't grown? How could I say I haven't changed? a year and a half but sometimes I'll look at it in a week or a couple days and I'm like this sucks this isn't working um, <laughs> this is hard. but over time it does so that's your challenge for for 2019 keep going five seconds three two oh shake that out roll that out let's go back to shoulders I'm gonna grab my eights we're gonna do a simple bent arm behind the head, lateral raise there. Ready, three, two, and work. Here, and bring it in, that's it. We're gonna finish off with one ab exercise next, and then you're done. Stay for the stretch if you can. This has been good. I like the one minute intervals when we're just doing no repeat. It's gotta be long enough so that you can actually feel the exercise. Get those elbows high, come on. A little seated bicycle for the win, for the end. 15 seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Okay, back on your bottom, last exercise. If this hurts your tailbone, feel free to lie on your back for this bicycle, otherwise you're here. Oh, arms ready. Here we go, up. It is much more difficult than lying down for me anyway. Halfway, another break for me. workout now click the card at the top of the screen set that up for tomorrow's workout that would be a great um, follower from today's workout which was all upper body okay switch up and over stretch that out nice 
Oh goodness, that's good. I do like that um, higher rep range from time to time. Let's round through the back here. Stretch side to side. You really get to uh, fatigue the muscles or get to failure. Like those tricep dips, I was at failure like three or four times. <laughs> it was hard. So that's nice to do yeah, periodically. But again, you want to build size. You got to lift in a lower rep range. Hands behind, stretch the chest, right? And lift as heavy as you can. I never did pick up those 25s. I got to the 20s on some exercises, but oh, good. Shaky arms, arm syndrome, anyone? Yes. Woo, good, good. All right, um, lean forward, grab sort of like opposite um, the hand or of your leg, um, stretching through the lats on that one side. So grab your carpet or the outside of your mat or just place your hand on the ground. Good, roll to the center, reach, reach forward. Stretching that lower back a little bit into those lats again. Deep breath in, slow exhale, push your chest to the ground and stretch to the side. Oh yeah. Hey, make sure you guys let me know too what kind of workouts you like to see more of, okay? I kind of just look at um, the stats and see what people are clicking on or what they like. But if you have something specific in mind, I do have a Another kettlebell one coming up, so if you're like, I want the dumbbell and kettlebell, that, that one's in the, in the planning stages right now, so that one's coming up. I have another cardio one coming up soon, just cardio, so, but yeah, let me know what you like, what you want to see more of. Sorry, are you tricep stretching? Good. All right, arms back, thumbs down, just tilt your neck to one side, roll those wrists out. Good. Fog has like seeped in through Kettle Valley here. Tilt your neck to the other side. That's where I live in an area called Kettle Valley. In Kelowna, BC. Bring the arm across. I know most of my subscribers are, well, the, I think it's like 51% are from the States. But then Canada is only like 7%. Canada? I'm from Canada. Come on, let's have better support here. <laughs> Um, but then all over the world, that's what's, uh, I think the most exciting is to see where you all live, like India and Taiwan and Greece and Italy and Australia, everywhere. I just, um, I love that you guys have found me and you know, it's like, sometimes you're like, I can't believe I haven't found you yet. That's the YouTube algorithm, eh? Like how do you find someone unless you know what you're looking for or unless YouTube suggests your video? It's a, it's a game. It's a hard game to get your videos into ranking. Um, my only video I think that ranks right now is that 30 minute mini band workout. Like if you typed into Google 30 minute, 30 minute mini band workout, I would pop up. Like, and I think that's the only one. Uh, but I need, yeah, so you kind of need more videos like that and then, um, and then your channel does better. Anyway, well, I'm at 10,000, so already it's doing better than it did last year and I have you guys to thank for that. All right. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, nutrition. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure that you comment below.